Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to help resolve the boot error code 0xc000098 you're coming across on your Windows computer. So if you're unable to boot into the operating system, today's tutorial will hopefully be able to resolve and fix your boot sector. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd suggest would be to launch the built-in recovery options in Windows. So in order to do that, do a hard power off three times in a row, meaning let your computer turn on, and then press the power button on your laptop or your desktop tower, whatever you use. Hold it in for a few seconds until the screen goes black, and then turn it on and then repeat that cycle two more times. And that should hopefully launch this choose an option or at least the recovery menu options. If you're unable to boot into this, you want to try to download the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility to burn a Windows 10 ISO file to a DVD or USB flash drive, and then boot your computer from it, so you want to just follow along with the on-screen instructions. I will have a tutorial as well in the description of the video if you're unsure of how to download and install the Media Creation Utility, as well as the process of actually going ahead and booting your computer from it. So again, pretty straightforward process here. So. Once you've already booted from the device, you want to select choose an option, select troubleshoot, reset your PC or see advanced options. I also want to get back to if you're booting from the DVD or USB, you're going to look like you're installing Windows. So after you select your keyboard input and you select next, it'll say install now. Do not click install now on the bottom left corner of that window. It should say repair my computer, repair my PC, something along those lines. And you want to go select that option instead. Uh, you don't want to obviously install Windows over Windows, you want to go try Repair My PC, and that'll launch a very similar looking troubleshooting screen that you see here, so just keep that in mind. So getting back onto where we are at the moment, we're going to go ahead and select Advanced Options again. Select the Command Prompt, use the Command Prompt for Advanced Troubleshooting, so go ahead and just left click on that. Okay, so go ahead and select your user account. You might have to enter a password. I don't actually have a password saved on this administrator account, so I'm just going to leave it blank and then select continue. Now into this command line window, we're going to type in a few commands here. So I will have them up on the screen of the video. You're going to have to type them in. Unfortunately, we cannot copy and paste because obviously you'll be unable to. So we're going to just type it in. Please take note of exactly how I type it. Just make it the exact same. So you want to type in first boot, so B-O-O-T rec dot exe space forward slash fix mbr exactly as it appears on my screen here so again boot rec dot exe then you want to do a space forward slash fix mbr hit enter on your keyboard should come back with the operation completed successfully now you want to type in boot b o o t r e c dot exe space forward slash fix boot 
Again, B-O-O-T-R-E-C dot E-X-E space forward slash fix boot. Hit enter on your keyboard. If you come back with this axis is denied and only if it comes back with that, if it says the operation completed successfully, you can skip this next part or this next command, I should say. But if you're coming back with axis is denied, you want to type in now boot, B-O-O-T, S-E-C-T, forward slash N-T-60, space, S-Y-S. So again, boot, B-O-O-T, S-E-C-T, forward slash N-T-60. So just type in 60, don't spell it out, followed by a space and then S-Y-S. Hit enter on your keyboard to run that. Now that you've done that, attempt to enter in the fix boot command that we had access is denied for earlier. So we're going to type in boot rec dot exe space forward slash fix boot. This is the exact same command that we were trying to run, but it said access is denied. So we're going to try running it again. Should come back with the operation completed successfully. So that's what we want to see here. So now that you've done that, you want to go ahead and run the SFC utility. So just type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Scan now should be two ends right back and back to each other. So all one word followed by another space forward slash off OFF boot B-O-O-T D-I-R equals, and now you're going to type in the drive letter Windows is installed on. Most of you guys should be the C drive. If it comes back with an error, try a different drive letter. Your syntax or spelling may be off as well, so just make sure you type in it exactly as it appears here. So I'm going to type the C drive, so just C, basically only type in the letter C, followed by a colon, which is one dot on top of another dot. It's right next to the L key on the keyboard, but you have to hold down the shift key plus that key. So you don't want to have a dot followed by a comma underneath. You want to have two even dots, one on top of the other, followed by a backslash. Then you want to do a forward slash off O F F W I N D I R equals and then the drive letter again. So C colon backslash windows. So I know that was a lot here guys, so again SFC space forward slash scan now space forward slash off boot DIR equals C colon backslash forward slash off WINDIR equals, so the equals sign don't spell out equals, so that's for all of these, I don't actually spell it equals anywhere here, and that's followed by a C colon backslash a windows hit enter on your keyboard so now you want to type in sfc space forward slash scan now scan now shall be one word attached to that forward slash hit enter on your keyboard this will take some time please be patient it shouldn't take too long but just give it a couple minutes here
what all this. Okay, so once you know what that, you can close out of the command prompt. You can go back and you troubleshoot and select other options here as well, such as system restore if you had any restore points saved on your computer. You can go back and try and restore your system. There are also options for start or prepare as well in here, so you can go ahead and go through that. So I just want to give you guys a few different options here to work with. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.